Welcome to the Happiness Matters podcast, where we'll explore happiness at work and show you how to coach yourself to be happier there and more successful too, no matter what. Welcome everyone. It's a special day today, the end of our Series 1 coaching on defining, assessing and visioning your happiness. I'm Julia Seal, your coach on this midlife journey to navigate what happiness and what success means to you in this next chapter, this second phase of your life. Today is a walk through the last 14 months of coaching where we've explored everything to do with how you're defining your happiness, how you're measuring it and tracking it, and how you're visioning your future. It's also the beginning of understanding how COVID-19's jigsaw puzzle craze applies to you and this first step in learning how to coach yourself. (laughs) And I have a free download for you to help you navigate Series 1 easily. But first, I want to remind you about this month's special coaching. To honor the Dalai Lama and Nelson Mandela as I do every year in their birthday month, I am offering you a session of free coaching with me, an individual coaching session to get you started on your midlife happiness journey. What's your next step? I introduced this coaching last week and bookings are now open for the next three weeks. Visit the website happiness-matters.coach and click on the yellow button right at the top of your screen, Coach with Julia. Last week was the 85th birthday of the Dalai Lama, and this week is the late Nelson Mandela's. His birthday is now a United Nations International Day to honor his legacy through volunteering and community service. People give 67 minutes of their day to fight poverty and promote peace, reconciliation, and cultural diversity, 67 being the number of years that he fought for social justice. I am looking forward to meeting you all. (laughs) Okay, so the first episodes in the podcast are the core coaching episodes of Series 1, the defining, assessing, and visioning your happiness and success. So that's Episodes 1.1 and 1.6. And rounded off with 1.40, Artisanal and Shokunin Happiness. These are your go-to episodes if you want an overview of what we've been doing over the last year or so. If you want a refresher or if you're new and you want a quick catch-up. We had fun in these sessions, didn't we? We went exploring with Odysseus and Harry Potter and Coca-Cola. We looked into the future filled with unicorns and leprechauns. And we figured out how to turn our biggest obstacles into our stepping stones for success. I also introduced you to our happiness wisdom concepts. Things like the hedonic treadmill, the yin-yang of life is 50-50, and the happiness paradox. Everything since episode 1.6 to now, which is episode 1.49, has been to add more depth to these core sessions. There is no need to get overwhelmed by this depth. It's here for you to explore at any time to add interest, fun and further insight into how you're currently choosing to define, assess and vision your happiness. Where you are now and where you want to be. Where you're going on your happiness coaching journey. I hope you're not feeling puzzled anymore when you look over the last 56 episodes in your podcast player. But if so, to give you further clarity, I'd like you to think about your vision of happiness for yourself, what you want as happy and successful no matter what, as your picture of happiness, as a jigsaw puzzle picture. This year has been the year of the jigsaw puzzle, with so many of us around the world in various forms of lockdown or stay-at-home orders. 
Puzzling has become one of the most popular pastimes to fill our long summer evenings or our chilly winter nights as we limit our social interactions. Something other than falling into COVID-19's black holes of over-binging on TV and Netflix or endlessly scrolling the news and social media sites. Currently, I'm doing an old favorite, the Mona Lisa, mainly after seeing that hilarious social media meme of the Mona Lisa in various stages of lockdown. It's very funny. I'll post it on Facebook and Instagram for you. Not only is she wearing a mask, but she has COVID gray hair too, which I think we're all suffering from. Now, jigsaw puzzles were invented way back in the mid-1700s by a British cartographer, John Spilsbury, who mounted a map on a sheet of wood, cut out the individual countries, and used it to teach geography. They became very popular during the Great Depression in the 1930s as they provided a cheap, long-lasting and recyclable form of entertainment, so not much different to today. The world's largest sized jigsaw puzzle, as listed in the Guinness World Records, is one assembled at the Hong Kong airport by 777 people in 2002, and it measured 5,428 square meters with 21,600 pieces. <laughs> if you're keen on doing a really big one for yourself, you can buy the biggest one, a collage of animals with 52,110 pieces, or you can tour 27 Wonders of the World in 51,300 pieces. Or how about memorable Disney moments with 42,000 pieces? And they're all huge, all more than 13 square meters. <laughs> or how about the tiniest, only 5 square millimeters, the size of a grain of sand, and it's 100 pieces. Probably not possible with our middle-aged eyesight, even with reading glasses. <laughs> so, seeing your happiness as a puzzle. What we've done in Series 1 is to create the four sides, the outline of your happiness puzzle. And these four sides are defining, assessing, visioning, and the happiness wisdom concepts. These four edges are what make up the outer edges of your happiness puzzle. If you're just listening to the first core episodes 1.1 to 1.6, you'll have a reasonably simple outline to your happiness puzzle, but it will have all four key elements to hold your picture together. Then if you listen beyond episodes 1.6, you'll get more depth into each of these four aspects, more detail, these four sides of your picture. It's as simple as this. Now you can make your puzzle outline as big or small as you want. Remember, it's about your crafted version of happiness and success. It's your own happiness success formula. It could even be three-dimensional, like puzzle globes, or the 2016 computer version, the immersive panorama jigsaw that you stand inside and build. It could even be fourth or fifth dimensional, like last week's Back to the Future. <laughs> if you do need something more definite, many puzzlers like to know exactly how many border pieces they're looking for in advance. There's even a mathematical formula to find the number of border pieces from the total piece count. <laughs> I'll post the formula online for you, as it's a bit detailed. I'm sure it'll be an easy one for Thomas as he studies for his final school exams later this month. <laughs> yes, finals, I can't believe it's here already. Quite a year to finish school in 2020 with COVID-19 going on. We're not such exact puzzlers at Happiness Matters, but I have created an easy overview of Series 1 that you can download from our website, happiness-matters.coach. I've explored so many aspects of happiness, and you can take any episode over the last 56 to add more pieces to your happiness puzzle outline. And the overview gives you a guideline of what to listen to so you can add depth and interest to any of your four puzzle sides. 
Then after the core coaching episodes, there are three bonus or insight series. We have seven insight coaching sessions around the topic of smiling, laughing and self-smizing. I use these topics to trigger your brain so that we can look more deeply into your underlying beliefs about happiness. We looked at the famous yellow smiley face and what's behind this icon, then an examination of emojis and what they might have to do with your happiness at work. This week, actually, is World Emoji Day, so we'll see 117 new emojis on our phones coming through in the next software updates. I'm really excited for Happiness Matters. <laughs> There's a new emoji for hugging, a ladder, a mirror, and even better, there's a seal pup emoji. <laughs> Next year, apparently there will be no new emojis released as development was put on hold due to COVID-19. We had some fun, didn't we, with smiling and laughing on purpose and intentionally. And I introduced the self-smizing coaching tool for you to work with your inner self-critic and the impact of self-judgment on your future happiness and success. Then we took quite a long journey examining and coaching our negative emotions in detail, what it means to feel better, so that we can see exactly what's going on in our unhappiness and our dissatisfaction. This started at episode 1.17 and went all the way through to episode 1.32, so there's a lot of detail for you looking at buffering, self-evolution, toxic emotions, menopause emotions, emotional intelligence, and how to process your painful feelings step by step. Our last bonus section and wrapping up our definition work, we dive deep into the science of happiness, looking at various frameworks that academics and business consultants are using to define and measure happiness. So we looked at PERMA, at PERC, at SPIRE, at the Q12, at trust, engagement, success, and flow. And I ended this with a discussion of what artisanal means when it comes to your crafted version of happiness and success. Along the way, through the whole podcast so far, we've stopped to address your questions sent in to us via Ask Julia on the website. Again, thanks to everyone who sent in your comments and queries, as it gave me a chance to add further detail to these bonus insight mini-series. There were Q&As at the end of each of the six core coaching episodes, and then at the end of the Negative Emotions mini-coaching journey. Then there were four detailed Q&A episodes diving into specific topics you'd raised, such as the difference between employee engagement and happiness at work how success and happiness work together, and the elusive work-life balance. Throughout our time together, I've looked at special days, special observances to explain how we can use anything to coach ourselves on our journey of transformation, using coaching as a way to evolve who we are and how we show up in the world every day. So this year we coached on Pay It Forward Day, Mad Hatter's Day, International Hug Day, Star Wars Day, Fun at Work Day, International Day of Coffee, Mandela Day, and World Smile Day. And then every day, every day, since the 1st of May 2019, I've done the same on social media. Remember, you can find me online every day at happiness-matters.coach on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Even tomorrow, we have Give Something Away Day. So perhaps you'll share this podcast or the Series 1 overview with a friend or colleague who will enjoy it. Fraser and I would really appreciate you doing this for us. Then, coaching you through COVID-19 is an entire coaching session for you, whatever you're experiencing in the pandemic. You might be struggling with anxiety and spiraling negative thoughts about your health the safety of your loved ones, the security of your job, or you might be using this time as an opportunity to tap in and evolve yourself, drop some unhelpful habits, 
and step up to life, a life of meaning, purpose and contribution. And then lastly, I have spent the past three episodes going back to three core coaching tools that I really want to expand and bring to life for you beyond our brief exploration at the start of Series 1. I looked into how your past might be sabotaging your happiness and success now. I spent more time on how and why you want to measure and track your happiness. And then last week, I added a time travel element to your coaching, where we met your future self. Okay, so there you go, a brief walkthrough of all of Series 1. Remember to download the free overview to go with this episode and to help you navigate all 56 episodes. It gives you a guideline of what to listen to and when, so you can add interest, insight and depth to your four puzzle sides. You're defining, assessing, visioning and the happiness wisdom concepts. And as a reminder, you'll find it under the show notes for this episode and under the fun and free section on our website, happiness-matters.coach. Since it is Mandela Day later this week, I will remind you of Nelson Mandela's advice. Action without vision is only passing time. Vision without action is merely daydreaming. But vision with action can change the world. So take action. (laughs) Download the coaching tools, the supporting guides, and listen to the podcast in Series 1 so you can build a robust and inspiring outline for your happiness puzzle, your crafted midlife happiness, your version of happy and successful no matter what. And don't forget to take advantage of my coaching in July. One session with me to explore what is your next step in happiness. As today is the end of Series 1, we'll be going into Series 2 next. Series 2 at long last. (laughs) And it will be so much fun. It's all about brain management and what this means for our coaching together. So Series 2 is the equivalent of the corner pieces of your jigsaw puzzle. It holds everything together. But first, we'll be taking a short break between Series 1 and Series 2. It's Fraser's birthday right in between the Dalai Lama and Nelson Mandela. I'll be back before you know it. Of course, please book a free insight session with me if you do want to coach on your happiness and success in midlife. Perhaps you want to reassess your relationships through the pandemic and the empty nest. Or it's time to pivot your business or your career or even retire. Perhaps you're ready to learn how to coach yourself and access your own wisdom so you can show up as the best version of you in this next phase of your life. Now is the time for sure in this extraordinary 2020. And you can book this session on happiness-matters.coach, choose the yellow button, Coach with Julia, and as Mandela advises, may your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears, and it always seems impossible until it's done. So until then, may you be happy, may you be free. There is no better time to do this coaching together. Bye for now. Take care of yourselves and have fun filling in your four puzzle edges. Thanks for joining us on this Happiness Matters podcast. Do join us again here next week on Tuesday. You can subscribe to this series at Apple Podcasts on iTunes. Or you can sign up for it on our website, happinessmatters.coach. That's happiness-matters.coach. C-O-A-C-H. Also, you can join our conversation on Facebook by following us there. Our Facebook page is also happiness-matters.coach.